Hi, this is Pete with Wrap My Spider. Today we're going to show you a quick video on how to apply our 2019 and up uh, Can Am Spider Fender Tops kit. This is a little accent kit we created to uh, accentuate the, the raised portions of the new Fender that started in 2019 on many models of the Can Am Spider. So this Fender Top Kit um, covers this section here as well as a ring that goes around the reflector and then you also have the two raised bars. So uh, as we recommend with all of our graphic application, you're going to want to use the 70% rubbing alcohol and paper towel off the roll to prep the surface and get it all ready. Make sure that there's no wax or silicone based products. Uh, on the surface before you start. And um, because this has two pieces on the center of the fender tops, we are recommending that you start with the ring that encapsulates or circles that rear reflector. And then that way you'll have a guide for the uh, top portion as far as positioning is concerned. Now, with something like this, typically um, because of the size and the type of film that we're using, it's not imperative that you use a center hinge, uh, but you can if you want to. Typically, with this particular product, you can hover and see through the transfer tape for alignment purposes, and then just tack the top and bring down the bottom. And then you can take a look at it and make sure you like alignment. If you don't like it, you have the ability to pick it up. It's not going to tack. And then again, set it down. Once you get it into position, then you can take your squeegee and squeegee around it. Uh, most of the films we're using are automotive wrapping films, so they're a light tack adhesive. Um, they also have air release technology, so it doesn't trap air bubbles. Uh, this is a matte black material that we're using for this video. So once you get it squeegeed on, then you have the top transfer tape that's going to be eliminated. And you simply peel it back on top of itself to expose the actual material. So for the center bar, now that you have put on your uh, reflector piece, this helps us with alignment to know where we want this bar. So what we're going to do is I'll show you the center hinge and then uh, you guys can make your call as to whether you want to use a center hinge or just peel it off and freestyle the material on. So typically with a center hinge you take a piece of masking tape, run it through the center of whatever you are applying and we're going to basically tape it into position and that center hinge is going to hold it where we want it. Once you have it taped into position and you know this is where you want it, you're going to Peel back one half, cut away the backing, and then lay the design into place. So I'm going to move it over just a hair to get it more centered. And once you have it where you like it, with your center hinge down, you can squeegee it out. Typically you're starting from the middle to the outsides. So now you can eliminate your center hinge. 
expose the material and, and I'm pulling a little bit towards the back of the bike and then setting it down into place. You can make sure it's center if you want, you can reposition it. Once you have it where you like it, then you're just going to squeegee again from the middle to the outsides. Now let's say that you didn't like that. Does that mean that we are done? Not at all. So this is wrapping film. You have the ability to do two things. You can just pick up the edge and pull it back up, or I'll show you something else, which a lot of people may or may not be aware of. Let's say you have it down. And this is all because of the type of film we're using. So I'm going to peel the transfer tape off. That's exposing the actual material. But in most circumstances, if you wanted to reposition, you can carefully pick up the edge and still pick the film up and work with the raw material. See how easy that came up? Because you haven't post heated yet. And then you can lay it back down as you desire. And that's, you can see, I'm, I'm not even using a squeegee. I'm just rubbing it down by hand. You have the ability to position it uh, as desired. And that's a pretty quick video on how you can apply our uh, Fender Tops kit. We also have the uh, little bars. It's the same principle. I think for those, I probably would just uh, just because of the size, put them on individually without a center hinge. It's just a matter of aligning it, laying it into position. Again, if you need to, you can pick it back up and reposition it. Once you get it in place, you can peel the top transfer tape off. And this is just a nice accent to give the, uh, these uh, fenders for the 2019 a little bit of a different look. We're just accenting the top a little just to create your own personalized appearance. And this film that we're using is super user friendly. As I was saying, you can pick it up and reposition it at any time. Then just peel back the transfer tape. And then of course you'd go back and post heat, which is just warming the film lightly to help it to take its permanent bond. So that's a real quick video on application. Uh, if you were to do this, you would want to um, be careful not to pressure wash it for at least two weeks uh, to let that film set up. And um, other than that, care and maintenance, you can, you can spray wax most of the colors, matte films like what we just applied here. We don't recommend that you wax, um, but most of the other products you can do so using spray wax and a microfiber towel. So this is Pete with Wrap My Spider, just a quick video showing you uh, how to apply the 2019 and up Fender Tops kit uh, using uh, our wrapping film, which most of our products when you order are gonna be this type of film. The repositionable, easy apply, doesn't trap air bubbles, just a wonderful film to work with. So we hope this was informative. If you have questions, you can email us at sales at wrapmyspider.com or feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching.